what is up everybody welcome back to the channel now today i wanted to talk about james e life now i know it's a little early to be talking about this and i know originally i wanted to keep it like a surprise but i feel like it's best to just simply talk about it and explain to people how it's gonna go what's gonna happen the type of content that's gonna be on the channel and go from there so for those of you who have no idea which i'm going to assume is the mass majority of you who click on this video next year 2024 on january 29th there will be a channel name change going from james does stuff to james e life now this is going to be a one year type of thing unless it goes well unless it goes well so what's going to be happening is let me well first let me give you guys like a rundown on the whole jamesy life name and give you guys an explanation in case you haven't seen the past video where i talked about this a couple years back so in 2014 i made my debut to youtube not even really my debut but my first channel based upon gaming alone that actually belonged to me and it wasn't like my dad's channel or my mom's this was a channel that i made by myself and in 2014 i met a lot of friends i met wistful deer at the time he was known as wistful brony i met red griffin caster madness even though i don't talk to him anymore there was a guy named Zapper Brian. There was quite a few people that I've met, and there was a lot of content that I made back then. I remember halfway through the year, I had about 300 plus videos already uploaded to the channel. Now, there's going to be some twists and turns that are going to make 2024 quite different from 2010 because one, obviously my production value of the content that I create has increased over time. Uh, back in 2014, what I would do is I'd use the unregistered version of Fraps, or I'd use unregistered Bandicam, and I would just record 10-minute clips or very short clips of games and upload them, and it would be a lot of them. At one point, I even uploaded seven episodes of Amnesia the Dark Descent in one day, all 10-minute videos. Instead of putting it all together to make one big video, I just made 10 different, or not 10, but seven different episodes of Amnesia the Dark Descent. Now, is it going to be like that, where I'm going to be uploading seven times a day, and I'm going to be doing this, and I'm going to be doing that? Hell no. Because, one, I it takes me a lot more time to actually create the content that I create now. For example, when I make commentary videos like this, i got to record gameplay. I have to put the audio with the gameplay through an editor that I use called Movavi Video Editor Plus or something like that. Then after that, the file size is too big because uh, I use NVIDIA GeForce, the Shadow Play recorder, and I like to have my stuff on high quality settings. If the video file size is too big, I have to set it through a application known as Handbrake. Handbrake can lower the file size of these videos. And sometimes it can take me well over two to four hours just to get a video uploaded. So seven videos a day is highly unlikely. But is there a chance I'll do double uploads or even possibly triple uploads? It all just depends. We got to see how it goes. But in 2024, I have a plan to create a lot of videos. And I need to really get going on that. Because the past three years, 2020, 21, 22, and 23, well, I guess four, including 2023, right? Um... The years have been quite lackluster. I mean, I guess 2020 was really nice. I really enjoyed a lot of the content that I made in 2020. I was happy. I had a lot of fun with my friends. 2021, 2021, what the fuck? I'm sorry, I can never speak. In case y'all are new to the channel, there's a lot of the times where my brain runs so fucking fast thanks to ADHD and autism that I just cannot speak. So if that happens, please forgive me. And I forgot what I was going to say. Thank you, Brain Farts. Isn't that just lovely? But anyway, let me try to go back a little bit. Let me try to backstep. I have to put my videos through Handbrake, and then I have to edit them, and then I upload them, and I'll be doing maybe doubles or triples or more likely singles. But, oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. So, the past few years on the channel have slacked quite a bit when it comes to content. 2020-21... It was okay. I think it could have been better. 2020-22, um, I was a little disappointed in myself. There wasn't a lot of content, but there was enough content for me to get by. 
And 2023 is, it's going okay, but it's not going to be my most consistent year. Now, consistency is something I've never really had with a channel. And 2024, right? I don't know why I keep saying 2020, 24. That's really fucking stupid, or 2023. Man, my brain is just all over the place. I'm really sorry, guys and gals and everyone out there. I'm really sorry. But I plan on making a lot of content in 2024. Uh, with friends, without, there's a lot of horror games I want to play. Now, my original idea was to recreate a lot of past videos I made in 2020. Or not 2020, but 2014. And it's kind of hard to remember a lot of the stuff I did. The only lead I have on a lot of videos that I made, other than a little bit of memory, is um, Wistful has a YouTube video where he talks to us on Skype and he looked at my old channel from 2014, and there was quite a few videos on there. Now, in 2014, I also did a lot of music uploads. That's not happening. This video, or this channel, is based on me. This channel is based on me creating gaming content, doing reaction videos, doing this and that. It's not about me uploading music. I have another channel for uploading music that I currently work on. And I leave it at that. So there's not going to be a lot of like side stuff that has nothing to do with me that would get views on 2014's James E. Life channel. All the stuff that I upload, I do my best to make it about me and the stuff that I do with my friends or myself. So... I'm not going to be recreating every single video I made from 2014 because holy crap, that's a lot of things to remember. And there's some stuff that I couldn't see through Wistful's video because that was only halfway through the year. I had another half of the year to go plus a month of forgotten content that I don't remember creating. So the videos that I do have, though, I will be recreating them. Even if I play one this year, I will be replaying it again next year. Just to add a little bit of flair, add a little bit more content. I don't know. So, yeah. In 2024, I'm making a name change on the channel. It's going to go from James Does Stuff to James E. Life. That means there's going to be a new banner. Hopefully a new profile picture. I got to pay Red Griffin to hopefully make me a new OC or a new picture of my My Little Pony OC. Or maybe even a furry OC. Or maybe just a picture of me, honestly. It really doesn't matter. Now, from here, obviously, th that's going to be my plan. Now, for the rest of this year, I'm just going to upload gaming content, some horror games, do this, do that, and kind of just move on and just try to make content that you guys enjoy. But in 2024, I have a lot of high hopes to really... Did I say 2020? Yeah, I did say 2024. Okay, I said it right. Do you guys see how messed up my head is today? My mind is all over the place. I should have written a script for this video, but I didn't. Forgive me. I'm stupid. I'm beyond stupid, and I'm okay with that. But there is other news as well. At the end of 2024 going on to 2025, if by January, I believe 29th, right? Because that's the year mark of the whole James E. Life name. And this is a second channel, or a second chance for James e -Life to make a return. Now, if it doesn't work out and I don't meet a certain goal that I'm going to set that I will talk about when I make the name change, because I will be making a video on January 29th talking about all this too, in case anyone forgets about this, which is likely. So I'm not really going to be too mad about that. But let's say I don't meet, meet a certain goal to keep the James e -Life name I will be changing the channel name once again in 2025 to another name that I have set. And I'm a big Kingdom Hearts fan. And it has to do with Organization 13 and their names and how my name would be if I were in the Organization 13. I had to use an Organization 13 name generator just to find this. And I thought it was a pretty cool name. So, if James E. Life doesn't succeed for 2024... James E. Life will be dead, he will be buried, and he will never return again. Hopefully, because we're not there yet, we have high hopes to really make this work. Really make this happen, where James E. Life can stay, and everybody can find James E. Life in, his, in all his glory. 
a new and improved version of him when it comes to content creation. Now, is he mentally as happy as he once was? No, but we're working on that. It's a progress. It takes steps, and I need to take those steps to really improve. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you're interested or you have any recommendations for games, absolutely anything, comment down below. Because if you guys want to see some content for this year, feel free to request it. Feel free to do anything. Even in 2024, if you, we get there, feel free to do so. So thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.